Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sean here, and this is going to be a video for some films I picked up today. And uh, yeah, I have a contest update. I finally figured out how I'm going to run my contest and do the drawing and everything. So uh, yeah, I will have the details of my 400 subscribers contest at the end of this video after I show you guys what films I picked up today. And uh, yeah, overall, a flea market had its grand opening today in my area. This is an indoor flea market that's supposed to be open every weekend. So um, yeah, I decided to go on over and check out their grand opening. And uh, yeah, definitely found some interesting titles. I only found two Blu-rays, but yeah, the rest of the I found are actually out of print DVDs now. So um, yeah, definitely got some interesting stuff here. So I'll show you guys what I picked up now. And the first thing I picked up, I don't have any of these films in my collection, and I finally got the Tremors Attack Pack, which features the first four Tremors films. And, uh, yeah, this was only $4, brand new, sealed, so, yeah, thought it was time to pick up the Tremors films. So, yeah, especially for that price at $4, a dollar a piece for each film, so, yeah, not a bad find in my opinion. So, yeah, really happy to have the Tremors films in my collection now. Next up is a Star Wars bonus DVD. This was only a buck, and uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for anything that's Star Wars, so yeah, happy to have this in the collection, and uh, yeah, definitely will check this out soon and see what's on this bonus disc. Moving on now, and, uh, this is an, uh, an out of print Anchor Bay DVD, and I've never seen this artwork before, and this is for Michael Mann's Manhunter from 1986, and this is supposed to be the restored director's cut on DVD. The Divamax series and yeah I've never seen this artwork before and it was only a buck and it's in really good condition so yeah thought that was a pretty interesting find overall so yeah and also I mainly got this because yeah this is the director's cut but I want to see how it matches up to Scream Factory's Blu-ray because yeah Scream Factory's transfer is pretty hideous overall but I understand that Blu-ray had some uh lot of trouble getting that put together but yeah I just want to see how that uh, matches up to this DVD version so yeah not bad for a buck next one I found please don't judge me guys but yeah picked up Jaws of Revenge the 2003 edition and the main reason why I picked this up is because it has the original ending apparently the what's that the new ending it looks like a fish being blown up with an M80 or something yeah that's just terrible I can't have that so yeah I found this for a buck and this was actually sealed so yeah Nice find there. And the last things I found here, I found six of these. I'm trying to organize them. And I found six episodes of the Goosebumps show, R.L. Stein Goosebumps. These were only a dollar a piece, so I figured, yeah, definitely got to pick these up. And this is the only ones that the lady had on her table, so yeah, I decided just to grab them all. So I'll show you each one now. Goosebumps, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. It's Goosebumps, Chillology. Goosebumps, what's that? Shocker on Shock Street. And, uh, Goosebumps, The Headless Ghost. Goosebumps, Monster Blood. And Goosebumps, The Ghost Next Door. So, uh... I couldn't even tell you if I've ever seen these before. I haven't seen the show in years, so yeah, it'll definitely be fun to revisit those. And the last two things I found at the flea market here, I found a Shout Factory Blu-ray for Invasion USA featuring Chuck Norris, and I've never actually seen this before, and yeah, it was only one dollar. I was really surprised and felt lucky to find this for a buck, so yeah, excited to have this in the collection and finally check this film out. And the last thing I found here is actually an Arrow edition, and this was only $8. The condition's pretty fair overall, and uh, yeah, this is for Guillermo del Toro's Crimson Peak, which is some kind of special edition from Arrow Video, but yeah, it comes with a nice book on the inside, and uh, basically it opens up like a book. And then this comes out. your sleeve for the actual book with artwork on it same thing on the other side and yeah that's the back part of the book it's all black and then that's the front artwork of the book there and I, I was aware of this edition before but I just never actually seen it in front of me and uh, yeah once I finally saw this and it was only eight dollars I felt like yeah I definitely had to pick this up for that price 
But yeah, this is just some artwork and stuff from the film inside this book. I'm not going to show you guys everything there, but yeah, it comes with some lobby cards though. And um, yeah, that's the one disc. It's a one disc set. But yeah, really thought that was a pretty cool find overall for eight dollars in very fair condition. So yeah. But yeah, I'm going to move on now to the details of my 400 subscribers contest. And I have decided to do two winners for my contest. And, um, give me one second. Okay, I've decided to do two winners for my 400 subscribers contest. So basically how we're going to do this is the final two people that are left in the contest, they are going to face off in a best of seven where each person gets four entries apiece. First person to get four taken out of the, the skull head I'm going to have, that's the winner of the grand prize of what this is right here. But the second place winner is going to be winning a copy of Trick on Blu-ray, and they get their pick of one film out of the grand prize. So let's say, for instance, yeah, they take that one. The first place winner will be winning this grand prize here, which is basically nine films. But yeah, I figured that'd be the most... The best thing to do really i kind of felt like it wasn't i don't know i just felt like it was more fair to have multiple winners for this and i've never seen anybody run a contest on here like this before either so i thought it'd be really interesting to do the final two people face off in a best of seven for the number one spot and the person who loses gets the second place spot so yeah let me know what you guys think down below i hope you guys agree on that i hope this is you guys think this is pretty cool, but I mean, if you guys disagree with it, that's I'm fine with that. What I just overall, I just want to run a cool contest for you guys and uh, just have it be successful, and hope you guys have fun with it. But yeah, overall, I've definitely been enjoying the entry so far, and um, yeah. Well, this contest is going to be ending on March 20th, and like I said to you guys, anybody can enter, so, and uh, yeah, if you guys haven't made an entry yet and you plan on doing it, just please share that in my original video, so yeah, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions at all about my contest or anything, or if I might extend it or any, any questions at all, just don't hesitate. Let me know down below, and yeah, I will answer any questions you guys have about the contest. So yeah, that'll be all. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.